Permaculture Community Building, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 302. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 302, January 6, 2019 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to build self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I want to talk about is permaculture community building because one community is meant to be a permaculture community, but not just a permaculture community that focuses on just the aspects of permaculture covering food and food forest creation and that kind of as those aspects, but to expand permaculture and, and permaculture already includes these things because really permaculture, if you're not familiar with it, is about modeling what works in nature to create self-sustaining systems. At least that's my interpretation of it, and that is one community's interpretation of it. We want to model what's working in nature. Collaborative and cooperative living is one great example of that. You could argue that, well, nature runs on a resource-based economy because there's no money involved. There's no exchange or barter or anything of that nature. And so those aspects are foundations of one community. And this is really what we're doing. We're creating per permaculture community building models that are open source free shared, and can include all aspects of a completely sustainable lifestyle. And our goal is to create a permaculture civilization. Our goal is to create a self-replicating teacher demonstration, community, village, city, and hub model to build a global cooperative of these villages, communities, and hubs working together to create a sustainable world that will benefit all of us permaculture community building for the highest good of all life on this planet. And we call it an evolution of sustainability because our idea of permaculture communities is to evolve sustainability, take the physical foundations of sustainability, which everybody's familiar with, their food, energy, and housing, and to combine that with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, highest good education models, and truer stewardship. And that truer stewardship really is probably the biggest aspect of permaculture community building. It's to steward our environment and to take care of it as conscious and conscientious people capable of doing that for the highest good of each other and all life on this planet. And so in putting these things together, the physical sustainability and the emotional sustainability, we're doing this to build an evolution of sustainability and a way of life that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And if we can accomplish this, if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, that's how the idea will become self-replicating. And that idea of self-replication is a permaculture, a foundational permaculture concept. We can create a self-sustaining model for world change. And we're open sourcing and free sharing the entire process. We're open sourcing and free sharing everything necessary to replicate the housing and everything necessary to replicate the food and everything necessary to replicate the energy and everything necessary to replicate the open source process. Of course, the education, the economic models, the fulfilled living practices, social architecture, the stewardship, all of that is included as well as how to open source and free share it all. And we're building the infrastructure, the foundations to make that as easy as possible as well so that others don't have to replicate some of those aspects because we can promote others that are doing what it is that we're doing as well. People that will be using our models and helping to evolve and grow the global sweep, the global collection of open source plans for food and energy and housing and even the social architecture and the globally collaborative education program that is already complete. All these details are designed so that they're open source and free shared for global collaboration and cooperation. And our website, which is extensive, it's hundreds of pages at this point, and the infrastructure is designed to continue to grow indefinitely. It's designed to promote everybody else that is also living and creating for the highest good of all life in this planet, open sourcing and free sharing their evolutions, their growth, their expansions, and they're, they're hopefully making everything that we're doing right now even better. Because we call it open source project launch blueprinting for a reason. It's meant to be not just open source. We're not just saying, hey, this is open source. Use it how you want. We are open source project launch blueprinting it so that it is open source and specifically 
designed to launch additional projects, to launch additional open source projects, so that people can take that what it is that we're creating, use the aspects of it that they like the most, and change the aspects that they want to change, and hopefully make it even better. And if they share those, those changes back with us, and open source and free share those changes as well, we will promote their organizations to help support them in their growth, and thus they became, become a member of the One Community Collaborative team while doing their own thing. They don't have to share our values, they don't even have to share our goals, but if they share that one goal, that open source goal, that is enough. And so we are open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing so it can be implemented as either individual components and so it can be project blueprinted as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages, communities, and cities with seven different sustainable village models, which you're seeing in the background of this video here, as well as the education program, the social architecture, and the economic models, and everything else because we want to live this way. We want to invite other people to live this way. We want to open source and free share it and make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough so it'll spread on its own so we can positively and permanently impact this planet for the benefit of everyone, all life, and everyone on it. So this is what our all-volunteer, nonprofit team is doing. And here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of permaculture community building for the highest good of all life on this planet. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued design updates to the open source Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly details by double checking our clearances for the entire structure. You can see some of this work here. The core team also finished development of the new page sharing our research into the most sustainable toilet options. To complete the page, we finished the composting toilet section, water saving accessories section, summary and FAQ sections, and shared it through social media. And the core team continued updating the complete Vermiculture bathroom page. This week we finished reviewing and updating all the text and design details for design version 1. You can see some of this work here. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, continued working on the Earthbake Village. Here's weekly update 144 from Dean. This week's focus, as shown in these images, was continued 3D model updates to the entryway and windows. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the SketchUp duplicable city center updates. We updated all the hexagon windows, ceiling, and floor heights in the dining and social domes. We also added complete furniture details to one of the living dome rooms, changed door opening directions where needed, updated windows on the dining dome second floor, raised the sunrise patio deck, redesigned the laundry room door frame details, and updated the social dome shell to accommodate the pedestrian door connecting the inside and outside swimming pool areas. You can see some of these details here. The core team also continued with week two of our research into lake and water retention landscape creation as an alternative source for water for the duplicable city center sprinkler and emergency systems designs, agriculture, gray water processing, and more. This week we reviewed video and took notes on Sepp Holzer's work on the topic. The core team also continued our final review of the city center lighting spreadsheet, light placement, symbols, and layers in AutoCAD, and correlating website details. You can see some of this work here, and we'd say we're about 50% complete. And James Harrigal, student researcher, also completed his fifth week researching the best, safest, and most sustainable paints, carpet, and other building materials. This week, he finished his research into responsible paints and began the process of writing the detailed tutorial. You can see this behind-the-scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued working on the open source apiary page. We finished the tools and equipment sections and added a section teaching what's needed for buying bees. You can see some of this work here, and we'd say we're about 90% complete with the page. 
The core team also continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week we added the post hole slash auger information, chainsaw toolkit info, and researched the Bio 400 shredder slash chipper. In addition, we added examples of necessary activities for the 50 to 100 person third team and food for 400 plus on the food Google Doc. You can see some of this behind the scenes work here. And the core team working with Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, completed our first week working on creating an open source icon and symbol set for our permaculture designs. This week we created the initial design template, researched textures, and Guy created the first icon samples. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his 12th week as part of the marketing team. This week, he researched keywords for five of our top-level housing-related pages, Cobb Village, Compressed Earth Block Village, Shipping Container Village, and Recycled Materials Village. In addition to this, the Highest Good Software Network team consisting of Schuber Mittal, Software Delivery Manager, Jordan Miller, Web Developer, and Tyler Calvert, Full Stack Software Engineer, continued developing the software. This week, the team debugged the unit tests for header and leaderboard components, wrote tests for new front-end developers, started working on transitioning non-Redux components to use Redux, and updated our documentation so it'll be easier to read for new developers. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of permaculture community building. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. And of course, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. Or uh, the easiest way to help out is to share our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. And that, of course, includes Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and about 15 others, Tumblr, Reddit, Pinterest, uh, and... About 15 other social media networks, which I can't even remember right now, but we are on pretty much every major social media network. So if you look for us there, you will find us. And if you'd like to help us out in the easiest way possible, share our information on social media. Take a page that you like and help us get the word out. Help us spread the word. Tell people what it is that we're doing. Help people to know that we are working to create open source tools, tutorials, blueprints, not just for permaculture community building, but, but for the much bigger, bigger, bigger goal of creating a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime, a sustainable planet, a sustainable civilization, an open source free shared model for replication. This is what we're up to. So with that said, thanks for following our progress. If you've donated to our project, thank you. We're a 100% unpaid uh, team, including myself. So all donations go to forwarding our mission and helping us with our open source progress. Uh, if you've liked any of our posts, liking this video helps us out. If you've shared our information, that's the easiest way, as I've said a couple times. Whatever way you're supporting us, and if it's just watching this to the end, that's appreciated as well. So until next week, thank you, and we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.